Hey guys, Penny's here. How's it going? Cinnamon girl there. Hi everyone. I'm the hot mess and he's the cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> the hot mess and the cheap one? one. I made some fish juice just for you. Oh, fish juice. Well, I have ghetto wine in my ghetto solo cup. If anybody wants me to bring them one in Vegas, I will. Fantastic. So what are you wearing over there, Sin? Oh, well, this is part of our backstory of how we met. The Boston shirt from the Boston yeah. shirt. Otherwise known as Anastas 617. But um, I guess we should say how we met. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I started um, vlogging, I think, May 2019, and you started shortly thereafter, right? No. Okay. I started watching everybody in, okay. when was it? July 2019. No, okay. actually, no, no, no. I take that back. I started watching um, Say Hi to Matthew and The Trooper in 2018 because, I mean, a lot of people know, but not everybody knows, but um, I had to get a hip replacement. And I knew I was not going to be able to go to Vegas for quite a long time. So I was all sad and hopped up on drugs in the hospital. And I found them. And I was watching them basically on my laptop in my hospital room. Sure. So then I was watching people and I was lurking because I was all shy. I mean, everybody knows I'm very outgoing, but I'm kind of shy. Like, I feel like intimidated to say anything. So I started lurking and like that. And I met Matthew in 2018. He was very lovely. Um, met the trooper also, also lovely. And then I started finding other channels. So I think I actually found um, PJ's Lounge first. And you were in there. And, and I didn't scare you off? No, because <laughs> he was playing 80s music. So it made me happy. Oh, OK. okay. And, and um, I was working all the time and stuff like that. It was busy. And going through like because then after i had the hip replacement i broke my shoulder so then i had to recover so i was kind of like a lurker so 2019 rolls around and i subscribed to you and i think like different chats i don't remember which chat but we started chatting and i was like hey these are cool people blah 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 and so i started following you and then in your, then you did drunk talk with anastas oh in yeah February yeah of 2020 and right. he saw my uh star wars tattoo on twitter and that's when him and i started talking okay so that's cool. it's, it's all his fault all of it all of this is his fault all of it so he gave this to me when i met him in person for the first time which was march 2020 when everything shut down in vegas so then what happened because you 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 are the worst Ooh. um so matt bridger <laughs> at the end of one of his videos said <laughs> when we get married he would attend and you guys all ran with it and tormented the hell out of him saying you wanted to be flower girls and all this other stuff and you freaked him out <laughs> And he ended up breaking up with me. So on Twitter, which, you know, yay for that. And um, also, you know, I'm not an angel. I waited until you guys were doing another drunk talk. And then I dropped a video of him breaking up with me. But, you know, but he also said it was all his fault and that it wasn't my fault. So, yeah. <laughs> but now we're great. We're good friends. Like, I can talk to him about anything like I can. And I'm actually really kind of grateful for him for that because... You and I have become really good friends with Liz also. And, yeah. you know, people don't think that you can have platonic friends, but I do. I have a lot of platonic male friends. And we talk almost every day either about just BS or right. like serious things or whatever and try sure. to kind of plan our trips together. So I'm really kind of grateful for him because you and Liz are fantastic. And, you know, I consider you some of my best friends. So. Uh, appreciate yeah. that, Bestie. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even though we had our, our fake fights and all that. <laughs> and the hush. The hair is flipping out in the shirt. background. The hush shirt died. The hush shirt that Liz made me the hush shirt. Yeah, my, my, my wash machine ate it up. Like, it has oh, holes no. in it. 
Yeah, it's terrible. So I'm going to make a new one in honor of you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, that's basically how we met. Very cool. And uh, let's get into some Vegas news before we uh, get into some of my Vegas stuff we want to talk about today. Okay. Okay, so uh, apparently this has been known for a while, but the Aria, Aria, Aria Buffet. Aria. <laughs> yes, Aria Buffet is no more. Um, That's sad. I've never had it. And I was like so looking forward to having it. And when I think when I went in March 2020, it was already closed down because COVID yeah. was starting. So right. I never had it. Oh, really? Um, so now it's going to become a food hall. This is all being reported by the Re Review Journal. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, that's. I mean, they kind of need, like, more food options at Aria. So that's good. But I'm sad right. that the, the it's not coming back. Yeah, the honestly, buffet was really, really good. Like, that was probably MGM's best buffet, as far as I'm concerned. I, I had I, it ranked I, up there. You know, you had the Aria Buffet. You had Cosmo's Wicked Spoon, the Winds Buffet, and Caesar's. So, yeah. I still, I still haven't had Winds Buffet either. You got to get on that. Spoon many times because I'm cheap. <laughs> I didn't go on my birthday week when I had the $150, I'm cheap. I'm like, if I don't win money, I'm not going to spend that much money. I yeah, we should have brought you with us this time because we went for lunch and it came to like $95 and we had a $150 credit. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, I would have I totally, but it's fine. You know, yeah. I like people, I'm not the kind of person in Vegas that has to be um, latched to you the entire trip. I like to be able to have my time Sure. To do my things and then hang out with people. You know, I don't need to spend the whole entire day. Even though we spend a lot of time and you're like, yeah, videos, we still had separate times away. Sure. Like you did For your sure. Thing, I did my thing. And I yeah. think that's the perfect balance of everything. Okay. Also, uh, Vital Vegas retweeted um, a picture of construction over at the Fontaine. I can't even pronounce it. Fountain pronounce it Blue. Fountain, Fountain Blue. 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 I, I'm excited to see this place finally open. Um, just to see like if it'll get more traffic pulled down that way. Because even with Sahara doing all the remodel and all that, they're still not getting a lot of people. They yeah. get a lot of people if there's a festival across the street. That's when they get people because they get people coming through there from the monorail, people trying to stay there. But it's not really busy, but I also like that too because it's not really busy. Like you can stay there and kind of chill out and like, but I never win any money there. So nothing, nothing, no. I might as well just, you know, put my money on the floor and light it on fire and it would, I, it would do better. So, <laughs> but I, I, I'm interested to see what it's like. I'm interested to see. Like, will they have like concert venues? Will they have right. like? Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of shopping. Oh, yeah. Mm, uh, I don't think you need more shopping. Yeah. I think I think I think me Cinnamon thinks that they need a club. That's a club, not clubs with just tables. Like, I don't want to go somewhere that's just tables. I right. might be old, but I still want to dance. Like, you know, I want to dance. I would love if somebody would open up an 80s club or a 90s club in one of the casinos with an actual dance floor. My favorite place to go dancing used to be Studio 54. That place had the biggest dance floor ever, and I loved it, loved, loved, loved it. And now it's Hakkasan, and I don't like it at all. I went there twice, and I hated it. I almost fell down the stairs. Hated it. Why, why would you make multi-level clubs with wood stairs and girls on high heels. That just sounds like disaster waiting to happen. You just need one drunk bitch to go and that's it. All right, so we're talking dancing here. Let's move it over to plastic horses. Um, John Mahaffey is reporting that there's major issues with the Sigma Derby game at the D 
Have you ever actually played that game, Cinnamon? I, no. I was watching you guys play it, and I was totally confused because I was like, well, what do you do? Do you put a quarter in? Do you not? It runs. It's doing this little thing. I mean, it's cute and all, and I wish I would have played it, but I think, was I drunk? I might have been drunk. I don't know. Um, but I, I, I'm planning, okay, I'm planning on actually maybe trying to play it if it's working because okay. uh, my next trip, I well, not my next trip. <laughs> I might have booked another one. Um, in November, I'm staying one night downtown. So okay. I want to do like downtown -y stuff. So I might want to do a little that but I, I i think it's cool that they still have it and i hope they don't get rid of it what is yeah. he saying is wrong with it yeah so apparently i heard today the d has now purchased two old sigma derby machines from somewhere i think in rio or something so uh rio nevada uh reno i mean Reno, not real reno rio, rio is in texas isn't it <laughs> the rio ground or something that just doesn't know shit on locations. Anyways, so they bought a couple of these machines and uh, they're going to use them for parts. So hopefully that's going to get that up and running again. Um, well, so they're gonna so they're gonna use the other machines to like fix it. Yeah, apparently there's some parts that they need that they can't get anymore, so they need to well, take maybe, them. Maybe maybe they can stick their hands in and everybody can do it like little kids like this. And then, and then that would be fair, right? Because then you can be, how fast can you do this? I don't know. But I think it's interesting. But how do you actually win money? Like, do you win a lot? Or, like, how much can you bet? Or the how most? Well, I don't know what the maximum you can bet is. I think it's up to $5. Oh, but, okay. Uh, well, we know the, you don't bet The biggest more than long quarter. shot that comes in is 200 to 1. So if oh, you were betting okay. a quarter, that would be, like, 50 bucks. I think so. I saw JR like win a race, I think. Yeah. Oh, that Not was on the other more. game. That's on the uh, Fortune Cup. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, Yeah. I, I, I'm confusing. I know that Fortune Cup is more um, electronic than the other one, or more newer and advanced. Yeah, it's newer. Okay. All right, so let's move on. While we're already talking about the D, let's talk about the expansion of Bar Canada. They've expanded the bar, um, like almost double the size the vital vegas put out a video did you see that no not yet but i did oh, see yeah. some pictures of the bloody marys you know yeah um breakfast salads hello i am the originator of breakfast salad i would like to state that right now i've been saying that for 10 years there are only breakfast salads in vegas not if you get bloody mary anywhere else it's a bloody mary but in vegas it's breakfast salad but that looks like breakfast salad with a side of a whole meal on it you know, there's like a, a chicken and a, and a wing and, and some bacon and some other shit on there. It looks great. But I'm, I'm very interested to see how this Bacon Nation thing will be because that's interesting. Yeah, I for really sure. Like some bacon. <laughs> I, I, I do have $50 uh, food and beverage. So, you know, I could go get one of those breakfast salads and like, woo, will they have BLTs? Mm, that might be good. You can eat a BLT. Where is the, where, which one are you talking about? Where is this one? The the one at the D, right? It's opening up to the, uh, is it is it the, the, the Bar Canada expanded or is it Bar Canada and um, Bacon Nation? No, Bar Canada expanded. I was just talking about the breakfast salad. Where is this one you're talking about that? It's next. It, okay, remember where Sigma Derby was? Oh, right the there? bacon place. There's some yeah, bacon it's place. right there. They were building oh, it. Oh, okay. Very nice. So maybe um, that's what the, the Bar Canada expansion is the beginning of that? Yeah. Now, I know you love sports ball. Um, are you going to go to Vegas next year for uh, the big F1 race? No. November 18th. It's just been announced. And uh, that's a no from Cinnamon. Oh, okay. I would go if I had a comped room at Cosmo and I could stand on my bay balcony and see vroom, 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 then I would go. <laughs> Otherwise, no. Are we really impressed by race cars? Neither of us drive. No. No. Well, I'm impressed by other people that can drive fast because I can't. If you put me in a car, I could drive straight. And then if they're requiring turning left or right, I'd crash into everything. But that could be a whole nother sport. That's like clowns driving cars or something, you know? Like, 
I feel like tunes the cat, you know? So, um, no, I probably won't go. I avoid Vegas most of the time when there's big events because everybody thinks that pennies is the cheapest. But actually, he's not. I am. Because he will stay for like, you know, seven days, 10 days, and all those incidental charges you have to save up for him because you also don't have a credit card like I don't. So that's why I only go like four days or five days unless I win money because then I will run to the bank so that I have money to do the incidental charge. And I also think incidental charges are like a savings plan because you go to Vegas, you might lose all your money, you might win, but you know that when you get home, you're going to get all the incidentals back and actually recover some of the money you lost. Yes. So yes. that's how I look at it. But I would, I, I'm working on my credit so that I can get like a Caesars credit card so that I can be di fake diamond. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay. The, uh, was just reading today. The, uh, conservatory for the, uh, fall edition is complete. When you go in October, you go and get over there, get some footage. Yeah, I will. Um, I didn't go last time because Me I, neither. I, I really had like, I, I mean, you even said it to me that I seemed a little off and a little different than most of the time. And I was, I just had the bad juju. I had like, I felt like a dark cloud over me. Um, it wasn't until day three, I started winning a little bit. Um, I was angry. I was just, ugh, I just couldn't shake it. And I, I, I'm convinced now it's Harris. So I will not, not because Harris treated me like trash. It's because I feel like it's bad luck. So I'm not staying there no more. If I have to stay on a park bench, I'll stay on park bench before I stay at Harris. So I'm trying <laughs> to actually give resorts like a second chance. So when Bally's turns into horseshoe and they do their, like do the rooms over. I'll probably yeah. sell it again and see if they can redeem themselves in my eyes. Um, same with Paris. Um, I haven't, well, I mean, I stayed at Flamingo a bunch of times, but I've never stayed there on my channel. So I'll, I'll stay there sometime, probably in the summer. I'm hoping to go on my birthday this year so that I can get like birthday stuff or whatever. And, you know, cause I haven't gone in like two, no, three years, three years on my birthday. So I'm hoping to this year. All right, so uh, let's talk about PBR is gone from Planet Hollywood. Um, yes, we we actually ate there last trip. It was pretty good. Yeah, um, I had the. What do you think will go in there, and where do you think PBR bar might pop up? Well, they're claiming okay, they're moving so somewhere else on the strip. I liked PBR. Um, I wonder. Hmm, you know what? They would probably fit in well with the Hard Rock. I wonder if maybe they'll go there because that would be like on brand for them. Yeah, like, you know, that would be cool. Party kind of, you know, rock and roll kind of thing. The one bar that I used to really like that they had at Link was the Rock Bar. That place okay. was fantastic. They had the best bartender in there and she had all Sanrio and Hello Kitty and My Melody tattoos all over her. And she was the one that um, swung on the, uh, the tire. Just loved her. Loved it. I love that place. It was so fun. They had like a cage you could dance in. See, a place you could dance. Uh, that's that's all I want in life. I don't want a lounge. I don't want like some bougie club or, you know, whatever. I don't care if I'm in my 50s. I still want to dance. I want to dance. You know me. You see me like, like I start dancing anywhere. So... <laughs> but you can't I, hold a candle to my dancing though. That's the thing. You probably do it long spray for like this shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Which so is okay. let's, <laughs> let's talk about my Vegas. What is your go-to for my Vegas? A okay. lot of people anymore, you know, I always see people on Twitter bashing my Vegas saying they can't figure out any rewards to redeem and all this, but I always I, have I think, luck. First of all, people need to have a player's card. I don't understand how you're like watching youtube you're watching like twitter and you don't understand that you need a player's card you need a player's card at every single casino and yeah. then you need it for my vegas i think my vegas is fantastic um it's not as good as it was like five years ago you got so much Obviously, more. Yeah. I, I mean i mean i can't even list how many rewards i've gotten 
I saw Caw for free. I saw O for free. I saw Thunder from Down Under for free. I saw, um, oh my God, I have to think, uh, Fantasy for free. Um, so many um, My Konami rewards, like people don't realize that there's so many multiple um, slot applications. Um, I play all of them. And people also don't realize that if you do the My Vegas Bingo and the My Vegas Live, both of those are on a time clock. You don't yeah. even have to play. You don't even have to have any coins. I have my, because um, you can do the My Vegas Live, you can do it twice a day and max it out to how many days. Yeah. And the best yeah. thing about the My Vegas Live is the longer it's going, the more rewards you get. So it starts with after, I think it's every, I want to say 10 minutes. It, it gives you rewards. So it starts right. out at 100, 150, 200, 250. It goes all the way up to 800. Wow. And people yeah. don't realize that. So every morning when I get up, I turn on my laptop and I set it to run. And I go do my things and that's it. When I go to work, I turn it on on my phone and let it run in my pocket. So then I'm getting points. And same with the My Vegas Bingo. And um, people don't realize also that if you, on Tuesdays on, which one is it? Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Uh, the OG My Vegas um, on two, wait, is it My Pop? No, it's Pop. On Tuesdays, you get 3,000 points. Oh, every really? Tuesday morning, yes. So that all just adds up. You know, you yeah, just keep doing sure. it. Uh, my Vegas, the OG one, every day gives you 400 loyalty points. And that's how you get stuff. I can't afford everything. You know, like this time, now my 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 Vegas, not my, my, my Vegas, my rewards is good. So I can get a free room. But My Vegas is fantastic for like, you know, like Bellagio, stuff like that. It's yeah, great. Yeah, for sure. I know and in June, we hit up the, uh, what's that taco place called? We got... Uh, Twenty dollars off, but oh, we spend forty. Diablos. Yeah, Diablos. Diablos. That was pretty yes. good. Did Did you get so taquitos? <laughs> taquitos. Taquitos. It's taquitos. <laughs> but it's fantastic. I mean, I I honestly, you know, was this day, many days old when I found out that you can do more. I thought you could only do four premium and four non premium. I didn't know that you could do. All kinds. So I yeah. have a whole bunch now. Yeah. So depending how much you put into the game, you get three to six premium rewards. And then uh, you can use as many of the other ones as you want. Like uh, the two for one drinks, uh, Excalibur, for and example. And that's fantastic. And there's a lot of like free shot, free drink. Yeah. Free for pre like you're walking to go somewhere and you'll stop by, get your drinky. You know, but you do have to go to the rewards desk because people yeah. were asking that too. Like, oh, can I load all of it? No, you can't. You know, oh, I also found out something. Last time I stayed at Park um, in, you know, a few weeks ago, um, I I had my, my uh, reservation through my Vegas. And they upgraded me because I'm gold. But they told me that they don't necessarily have to waive your resort fees if you got it through my vegas because it's technically a third party now they did do it for me i think because i did the 20 dollar tip but they don't necessarily have to waive it when you do that if you're gold only okay so it just depends on the agent you get also right. people do not realize because cinnamon's dumb that if you're gold you can go to the vip check-in line you don't have to stand in the regular line and I didn't oh, know really? That. Yeah, I, I don't think you knew that either. <laughs> nope. Yeah, so now when you go in December, you can go to the VIP line. Okay, you're talking about when you're checking in? Yes, yes. You can oh, go to okay, the VIP yeah. line if you're gold. Okay. So hopefully both of us will remain gold next year. Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm almost done out of wine. That's sad. Oh my God, you're pulling a Liz. I know. I don't have any more. I still uh, have two little baby wines left from Vegas that I threw in the refrigerator. So. 
How could you drink so much so fast when you're talking so fast? You know I talk a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, anything else you want to touch on on my Vegas there, Cinnamon? Um, obviously, the Konomi free play is the way to go for your premium rewards. Usually, I get like three or four of those. Um, is there any other premium rewards that stand out to you besides? Well, I guess the rooms, right? The yeah, room is the a good one. I'm hoping to, I want to stay at Bellagio before my gold expires. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll get comped on the the regular MGM rewards. If not, I'm going to save up so I can do, because I haven't stayed there since um, March 2020. So I want to do it again and hopefully with no resort fees because that's the whole, I love it. I love that I don't have to have that extra, like, you know, four day four days of you know resort fees, and that's like four hundred dollars. Yeah. So, like, that's a lot of things. Is like things are going up, and you know, in price, like before MGM was some of the properties were fifty dollars, and some were a hundred. Now everything's a hundred. I don't know about the Dirty Castles. The Dirty Castle. 50 or 100? I believe it's 50. When okay. I went on Google yesterday, it came up as $50. Okay, that makes me happy because, you know, yeah. I'm insane. And I decided I'm going to do 36 hours in Vegas on yeah. um, October 11th. Just okay. so I can be Matrix. So, and we can like dress up like Britney and run around the <laughs> strip like idiots. So, nice, nice. We will watch for those videos. Um, yeah, my next trip is in December. I'm doing four nights at uh, Planet Hollywood, and my last night right now is at Excalibur. So I'm going to base this all on your experience at Excalibur if I keep that booking or not. I'm really hoping, because I'm going on a Tuesday, that they will upgrade me okay. because I'm gold. I'm really hoping. Now, which room did you book? It's just the basic um i believe let's see sorry let's see um i think i have like four reservations in my phone that's terrible right <laughs> um okay yeah i have a uh the basic king room in the resort tower and i didn't Ooh. know which, oh that's bad that's yeah that's bad okay but you that's want to I'm switch gonna... over to the royal tower if you can Oh, wait, maybe I have the Royal Tower. Okay. The Royal Tower is the one that was renovated in 2016. Okay, okay, okay. I take that back. It is the Royal Tower. Oh, okay. You're good then. There's my... Oh, yeah. Exactly. There you go. Um, okay. Cause so, But I'm hoping that like, if I slide the $20 over and I'm gold, you know, after they take off the resort fees, that they'll be like, you know, like upgrade me. Because I will say I, I have so much love for Park MGM. My last three trips, I've been upgraded to a suite. It's fantastic. I love it. Fantastic. I've stayed in the Nightingale. I've stayed in the Nighthawk. I've stayed at um, the Grand Suite at um, Nomad. Um, so all that's fantastic. And, and, and I hope it stays like that. Um, I'm hoping like I, I'm hoping next year I'm gonna try to do suites every single trip. I I, I really want to do that and like do a series on suites, but I don't know if that'll happen because I'm cheap as fuck. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can get a job in Vegas. There you go. There you I'm go. Still trying. I'm still trying. So. All right, guys. This has been the first podcast of the Hot Mess Pennies Express with the Hot Mess Cinnamon Girl and Pennies for Vegas. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye, guys.